Hey guys, my name is George and welcome to yet another Java video tutorial in this series of Java tutorials in my channel. Uh, okay, so what we're going to do today guys is that we're going to learn how to use the for loop and we're also going to learn how to use the increments in Java. So basically the increments uh, will allow us to increment a variable um, by one for example or even decrease the variable by one uh, each time we execute uh, the increment operator and we will implement that in the for loop uh, so for the example uh, we're going to actually print a uh, numbers from 1 to 10 okay so the for loop starts like this uh, basically you can use for this is the for statement and after that uh, open and close uh, parentheses okay then open and close square brackets now the for loop basically uh, states uh, a method in which uh, these pieces of code inside the brackets will be executed um, a n number of times. For example, uh, let's say we want to execute uh, 10 times, so this code is going to be executed 10 times inside here. So let's put, for example, system of adult print line. N. Okay, so I want to print uh, 10 uh, ends over here. So inside the parentheses uh, in four, we are going to put some parameters. Now, the first parameter is going to be a variable which will be used uh, as a counter. So the most simple way to use that is that we can create a variable. This is going to be an integer variable, and I will call it counter. And the counter will be equals to okay to nothing for now. Now the first parameter will state uh, the start point of that counter. So I will say the counter is equals to zero. So counter will be zero at the first uh, iteration inside this loop. And uh, then put a semicolon and we will put a condition that will be always evaluated uh, every time we want to enter the for code if that evaluation is false we won't be able to execute this code over here so let's say that we want to uh, know if the counter is less than 10 so uh, while a uh, counter is less than 10 uh, we will be executing code and after that put another semicolon and the last uh, parameter that we're going to put is the increment of that counter so uh, the increment is uh, the plus plus sign over here uh, so this uh, operator will actually increase the value of counter by one every time we enter the loop okay so the first time we enter this loop uh, counter will be equal to zero then we evaluate uh, is counter less than 10 okay if that is uh, valid then we will enter the loop and in the loop what we will do is that the counter will be increased by one after that operation is done we print uh, n and we will enter the loop again however uh, this uh, equal zero won't uh, be executed again this will be only executed the first time we enter the loop so the loop will be um, uh, seeing counter as one and then we will increment it again until we get to 10. So let's run this code and see what happens. Um, the result will be a whole bunch of ends over here. You can see a lot of ends. Uh, so if we want to print out what the value of the counter is, we can do that. So I will use system dot out the print line counter. And the result will be from 0 to 9, okay? All the numbers uh, below 10, which are basically uh, the numbers uh, that uh, can get past this uh, logical operation with a true result. Okay, so once we get to 10, this will be false and we get out of the loop. So that is basically how the for loop works. And something else that we can do over here is that we can say, for example, what if the counter uh, starts uh, with the value of 10 and we want to evaluate the counter to be greater than uh, 0, for example. Let's say if counter is greater than 0 or O, uh, basically we will execute this uh, for loop. However, we, can increase, uh, we cannot increase the value of the counter 
because it won't make sense if, if counter is equal to 10 and you will be increasing 10 to infinity we will never get out of uh, this loop so what you need to do over here is that you need to use the decrease um, operation which is a minus minus and with this if you execute this program you will not get a number from 0 to 10 but from 10 to 1 so that is another way of using the for loop you can use the for loop to print out a series or for example as you can also use uh, to run certain tasks uh, multiple times uh, whenever you need them uh, so that's the for loop guys I hope you guys uh, really like this tutorial don't forget the first uh, parameter of the for loop is always the variable that uh, maybe we can use uh, to count inside the loop then uh, the second parameter is the actual um, logical condition that if evaluated as true then we can go to the loop once again and then the last parameter is an operation that will actually uh, move the variables in order to at one point get out of the loop by evaluating this as false so I hope uh, that will be um, of one way like uh, uh, something that teach you guys uh, a new skill so I don't know uh, if you like the video don't forget to click on the like button below and you can also leave a comment or subscribe to my channel for more videos of uh, this kind so see you guys later bye bye